so the time is two o'clock i finished cleaning the place let me take this off one of my subscribers one of you girls said that i look better without my glasses so i'm just taking my glasses for you right here okay <laughs> anyways um yeah i finished cleaning the house thank you jesus the house smells good. I have this nice candle burning. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of it. It smells like pretty pebbles. I love it. Um, yeah, the place is clean. And I feel refreshed. <laughs> so now I got myself together. As you can see, I'm wearing this uh, pink top. Uh, the skirt that I got from a friend a few years ago. And what shoes do you think I'm going to wear? Can you guess? The Jesus shoe. <laughs> Guys, I wear that with practically every outfit. And I have lots of shoes, but I just I just always stick to that shoe because it's so comfortable. So yeah, um, I'm supposed to head out with my parents and my younger sister. And I think my younger brother's coming too, I'm not sure. But she she needs to get a phone. And we are going to Bob's Furniture. So I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna look at sofas and see what I can do as far as financing options. Because guys, I need a sofa. Like, I'm very grateful for this nice uh, chair thing here. Um, but I need a sofa too. So I'm gonna keep the chair, of course, get a nice cover for it, not purple. <laughs> um, yeah, and probably put it over there with the pillows, like right there or something, or maybe in that corner. And then I want right here to have like the nice sofa. So, so as far as colors is concerned, I'm thinking either gray or something bright. Like I wouldn't mind to have like a nice bright orange sofa in here. I think it would go with nice with some of the colors that I have in here. Um, I'm not sure, I'm gonna see what's there. Obviously I'm not going to be purchasing something like extravagant, like it's just this area and I only need one sofa. I have this, this can be my chair. Chair and a sofa is just fine. Um, yeah, cause the sofa you can just lay out and just relaxing so i'm excited about that we're gonna see what's there um i'm really excited so yeah i'm just waiting on them to come they should be here like any minute so i should probably get my shoes on and get my bag but uh yeah the only thing now that i have to do is laundry i need to do laundry um i have all the laundry in that closet right there um in a bag on the floor and I think it's time because the bag is getting really full so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to Bob's furniture yay you're coming with me get ready because you're coming with me so oh, the bag is in here so I'm gonna bring my camera bag <laughs> and um, maybe like a snack or something to nibble on and we out hey i was supposed to go to curl fest today but my friend uh, she's not communicating and i guess she's still working she did say that she was working today so i don't know i, I really don't have the desire to really go out i just really want to chill that's how i've been feeling like i'm just so now i'm so like getting used to being here that i just pretty much want to chill on the weekends and not really like go places and stuff like that not so much but um yeah i'm thinking about changing my earrings to these instead should i hmm this or this i think i like the gold because it goes better with the jesus shoe <laughs> so i'm gonna put on the gold but yeah guys i hope you're you're uh, enjoying spending the Saturday with me. Ooh. I'm gonna try my best to get this vlog up tonight. Let's pray. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try to get it up tonight so that it's not like you're spending a Saturday with me like on Sunday or Monday or something like that. But yeah, guys, I didn't get anything else done as far as like business, but that would just be too much like overwhelming, you know. Um, as far as like doing a whole lot of videos today um i'm gonna see what i can do but anyways guys i'm excited to step out even though i like chilling here i like i i'm glad to step out because the day is pretty nice and i'd like to take advantage of the day 
So yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff prepared in the bag so that when they come, I'm not a hot mess trying to figure out what 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 my purpose is in life. All right, guys, stay tuned. Yeah. Shut up, Desiree. <laughs> hey, I didn't do it. She put that on the I just on turned camera. it on. I was gonna talk. <laughs> Don't even try it. I saw you flip that no. on screen. Where's the thing? Yummy. Yeah, that's, oh, she got the combo. That's good. Oh, yeah, she was Oh, the taco. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yo quiero taco, man. Bob time. Yay. Say hey. You think that people going to come in there with a camera? Why not? A big Canon camera? Should have been more inconspicuous. Wow. So we are here in Box Furniture shopping. We got some really nice stuff here. Yeah. Hello, hi. Size. You can do any piece for three ninety nine. Oh, nice! You can do chocolate or candy color. Okay, for any of these mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. Nice. The ninety inch is the biggest one. Then we have this seventy two, eighty, and sixty five. Yay! I mean, you guys wanted to do stuff too, right? Yeah. This is comfy. Ooh, ooh, comfy. Fabric? Yes. Yeah, leather is nice, but I like fabric a little better. Oh, this is my favorite. I love this. My mom wants to know why this looks so old and it's brand new. <laughs> no, that's really cool. That's that farm look. <laughs> why would you want to look like you're, you're, you're living in the stable? <laughs> I mean, come on now. So I just came out of there, Bob's Furniture, and I found the couch of my dreams. Ah, so happy. The couch looks just like me. Like it has that nice pattern. It's very comfortable. And um start doing some payments. So yeah guys, I enjoyed my stay here. I was helped by a very friendly woman. She tried to get me up and uh, get started very quickly, but you know some things happen and I kind of felt like it was rushed in a sense So maybe I need some time to kind of collect my thoughts and think um, I am ready to get a couch though. I did tell you guys that earlier. So yeah guys I'm super excited to have found my Dream couch. I'm just getting in the car now Ooh, It's warm in here Hey guys, it is Sunday and the time is 5.37 p.m. and I am cooking. Yes, I'm cooking. Yes, I'm cooking. Yes, my luck's so crazy right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Thing is sticking up. Yes, but I'm cooking. I'm cooking for the entire week. I got the idea from my mother. She mentioned one day when I was telling her about what I was cooking and then wondering like what am I going to cook throughout the week. Um, she said, well, why don't you just um, cook all of your meals one day and pack it up so I was like hey that makes a whole lot of sense so that's what I'm doing right now it's hot today is one of the most humid days um, of this week and I'm over here cooking my makeup looks crazy I'm about to wash my face ginger and twinkie are over here keeping me company or well, at least twinkie is ginger's over there looking for trouble <laughs> 
Yes, and let me show you what I'm making. So one of the things that I'm making is this uh, pasta. These are medium shells. It's all nice and boiled up. I'm about to rinse it out soon. I also have some yummy potatoes in the oven. It's uh, oven baked potatoes. And um, I have green beans. Let's get that in focus. Yes, green beans. And um, when this is done, I'm going to throw in some catfish. As you know, if you saw the last vlog and you saw my whole haul, you know that I got some catfish for free. A whole lot of them, actually. Like maybe 10, I think 10 to 12, uh, 12 nice small pieces. Good enough just for me. Um, but great for a family. So I'm about to, I'm going to um, oven bake that. So I already cleaned it. It's in the microwave right now. Just, I mean, not the microwave, the refrigerator um, waiting so that I'm not taking up a whole lot of stuff. Right here I have my laptop. I was watching the vlog. Um, yeah, and then also looking up <laughs> recipes. <laughs> I realized that a lot of adulting uh, adulting has a lot to do with uh, googling stuff so yeah I was pretty much googling some things concerning this meal but we were on point I was watching a vlog at the same time cooking um, yeah whew, it is hot in here but wow yeah this is good this is a, this was a great day I went to church um, I got my nails done got my nails and my toes done got a nice scrub something I've never had before but I think I should invest in that every month like once a month at, like at least with all the walking that I do sometimes especially on Saturdays when I have to go to get some food and do my walkabouts my feet hurt at the end of the day so I think I'm gonna start putting that into my uh, monthly budget um, I went to church church was great refreshing always great to go back and you know, get refreshed and revived, you know, hear from God. Um, I have a few scriptures that I'm going to be looking at throughout the week to keep myself focused. Um, just to be transparent, um, you know, I think I'll go into another room, you know, kind of keep this a little interesting here. Oh, booby. Uh-huh. She was on top of this chair. She thinks she's so slick. Yeah, but, um, ooh get this place nice and lit yeah um, honestly if I could be very honest and transparent I have been like um, let me just go back in the kitchen <laughs> if I could be honest and transparent or I could go in the bedroom I um, I've been feeling a little lonely <laughs> I've been feeling a little lonely um, and it is uh, it is a lie because I know that I'm never alone God is with me he's always with me God promises to never leave me nor forsake me actually y'all don't want to see that mess right there he promises to never leave me nor forsake me but oh God guys yesterday I had like this moment when um after I came back from Bob's furniture and it was a great, a great day, a great, nice time spent with my parents. I had a moment where I was just, I came back and I just thought to myself, wow, this is, this is not where I saw my life, like, when I was younger, thinking about what my life would look like by the time I'm 29. For me, I had a vision of what, I, like I always had like some kind of mental thought, some kind of mental image in my mind. By the time I'm 24, you know, I'll be married and by the time I'm 26, I'll have a child or, you know, start a family and have a family by the age of 28. <laughs> I'm 29 and I've got my girls. <laughs> and I'm not complaining and <laughs> I'm not married at the moment so yeah I just had that moment where I was just it, it just felt like a, my whole world just kind of fell on my head and I just felt pitiful for myself 
and I started crying honestly I was crying and I was just like bawling out to God and telling him you know I I'm, it's not that I'm being ungrateful but this is not where I saw my life this is not where I thought my life would be yeah so um, I just had that moment where I had to just cry out to God just to be honest like it doesn't it's it's it, 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 it makes no sense not being honest with God because he knows everything anyway, you know, so that sucked. I think especially because, you know, I went to Bob's Furniture and you see all the families, you see the young couples and it's like, kind of compare yourself. I guess that's what I was doing. I was comparing myself and just thinking like, wow, here I am and that's this is not where I wanted to be but then I thought to myself look Desiree you have so much to be grateful for and then I thought I had a thought and I know it was God speaking my grace is sufficient <laughs> and you know it's funny he always tells me this when it's like that's not the answer that I'm looking for God like I know before I um I started dating I would I would feel like this I would feel like this especially around the time fall comes and the sun goes down earlier I start to, started to feel a little depressed like oh god I'm single like well when like when am I gonna you know be able to, to be in a relationship with a nice guy and the answer came my grace is sufficient and I'm like dad father daddy that's not what I asked for <laughs> And then, like, I would ask questions and stuff like that, and, like, the most random thoughts that he would put in my head that I know was him, it, it would just pretty much not be what I was looking for, not the answer I was looking for. Kind of like a father in the, the actual sense, like physical father. You'll, you'll tell him one thing, maybe, or your parents, you'll tell them one thing, and the answer that they give you may not be what you wanted, but it is something that you had to hear. So, my grace is sufficient is a good answer, it's a good thing to ponder, but it's definitely not the thing I was looking for. So, I was just like thinking to myself, look Desiree, you have, an, uh, you have a choice, whether to sit here and allow your life to be where you just go through the motions and you're miserable, or you can get yourself up and do something. So what I did was, I got up out my bed. Put on some big shades because I didn't want nobody looking at me. That's just the mood that I had yesterday. I put on some shoes and I went walking. I walked so far and came back. And even though that you know I walked and I talked to God and it felt good. My body felt good. My blood started moving around. I felt good moving around. Um, I guess also living in an apartment complex, you gotta get moving. You don't want to stay still for too long. So, um, let me go in the kitchen and see if this is done. So, um, I felt good. My body felt good and I felt a little bit relieved. Um, I felt better, but, um, no, honestly, my spirit was still feeling a little low. But I, I got myself together and made myself some food. Ooh, this is, this looks like it's done. And um, I looked at some videos until I felt tired and I went to sleep. I put, I took out my, my church clothes because I determined to go to church today. I did not want to miss out on church because I needed, I needed to hear from God today. I need to hear from Him all the time, but just being in church collective with everyone else and worshiping God and being there is nothing compared to just being home and doing it all on your own. So there are moments in time when you just got to get out. You have to get out. <laughs> you really do. Um, so that's what I did and I felt okay. The church was great today. It felt good to just be out and um, and it felt good to get my nails done. Something I haven't done and my feet scrubbed. Yes! That felt so good. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm in a better mood. These moods come and go. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm always happy like this. Sometimes I have my moments where I feel low and I feel depressed. 